Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Grant Kernan, the general manager here at Newell Coach. Hey, everybody. So what are we looking at here? This is a brand new 2021 Newell. It'll be delivered um, next week to the customers. So we're going to give a little preview of it for all your YouTube fans. I appreciate it. This is the entertainment bay here, I'm assuming? Yamaha sound bar. Uh, it's really the Aqua Hot Bay. Behind this is our 675 Aqua Hot but it makes a nice space. You know, all these TVs are so flat now, we can fit a lot of TV in a little amount of space, so. Yeah, and I will point out, I'm just, uh, I'm so impressed with all of the finish work, all of this polish. Is this polished stainless here? It is. It polished is. stainless. And then a very nice surface here, a very modern contemporary surface. Can you close these basement doors sure. just so we can hear, like the build quality on these sure. is just another level. Yeah. yeah, wow. Nice and solid. Newell has had these bifold doors for years and you know, it provides a really clean, you don't have to duck under the, the door as you go in. Uh, you can open all the doors simultaneously without worrying about which door is pantographing over to the left or which is coming over to the right, so. Yeah, and the thing that impresses me the most is just the quality. I mean, look at just how industrial style this is very impressive so this is really cool to see this product this is actually a product that i recommend and i'll make sure to leave a link in the description below you basically spray it on and wipe i've talked about it in other videos definitely worth checking out for just a quick spray and shine absolutely beautiful basement bays here and notice how everything is finished out every square inch is polished and one of the things that I like on these trays that I don't see in other coaches is it's a much taller lip here. So if you're gonna put stuff in your trays, they've got more space to stay. You can probably put taller items without worrying about them tipping over. Guys, I, I think I think the the paint game is being elevated in the motor coach world. Newell has definitely stepped up their paint job on this one. There's no doubt about it. Just a beautifully designed coach. I just learned that Newell coach, their exterior design is Porsche Designs, or what's the affiliation again? Yeah, Porsche Design. We've had a long-standing relationship with Porsche for over 20 years. Uh, whenever we're doing an, un, an updated body design, whether it's a refresh of our light buckets, or in the case of our current design, we, we did the entire front and rear caps. We work with Porsche Design. They help us sketch out the designs and, and then we engineer it. Nice. That probably explains why when you look at a Newell coach and then you look at the production coaches about 10 years later, you'll, you'll see imitation's the best form of flattery is what That's I'd like right. to say. Right. So now I've got to point out too, just how clean the lights look. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's lights around the windows that just give it a really nice clean feel. What's going on? Just all of your uh, we like. We call this L1. Yeah, this is our front load center. Uh, we've got this is where our air compressors are. We've got redundant uh, air compressors. Um, this is also you open the generator bay, which I'll show you. A uh, 20 kW generator. 20 kW. It's a Yanmar engine. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a Martin generator on a Yanmar engine, and it's just been bulletproof for us. We've, we've had a lot of luck. The biggest problem we have is when people aren't using them. Yeah. Yeah. They really need to be used. You can run everything in the house and then some, we've got a buddy plug set up. So you turn on this generator, you can be running all your appliances, floor heat, aqua hot, et cetera. And then if your buddy needs a power, you can plug his coach into yours as well. And how often do you recommend to exercise the generator and run it and put it under load? Um, under a high load, probably once a week. Um, that often? Yeah, I mean, it depends on how you use it. Uh, certainly, if, if the coach is in storage, you don't need to use it that much. The big thing is, once you turn it on, you need to put it under a high load. Running it under a low load is almost a, worse than not exercising it at all. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Yeah, so load it up. And I can just not get over this paint job. With all of the ghosting, it's like a pearl white with a pure white pattern within. It's just kind of ghosted. And then there's also ghosting going on within the stripes too. Notice how this is a lighter white and then it gets almost more to a pearl white. Am I seeing that right or? Yeah, you can definitely see it. I mean, here's a good example of it down here. Oh yeah. You know, it's a real light. The, the difference between the, uh, the ghosted image and the base paint is pretty close. But as you move up, you know, it gets darker. 
this is definitely one of the one of the nicest looking newell coach paint jobs i've seen so this is your plumbing bay yep new plumbing bay this one is equipped with a gray water bypass I want to tell us a little bit about that tank we were talking a little bit earlier about how it's a, a single black and gray tank but then you can also have just a gray water bypass if you just want to just dump your gray yeah. directly it's a we have two different sizes of black water tanks they can be uh, 143 gallon or 180 gallon uh, and then we have the gray water bypass as an option for those who are dry camping somewhere and then and they don't have uh, hookups and they just want to be able to put the black water in the black water tank and not and not fill it up with uh, with all your gray water supplies so we were doing this on all show coaches it's standard now yeah that makes yeah. sense this is just incredible now are you guys going with 365s on the steers that's standard now you switched to 365 years ago got to point out too even the blue has a fade in it. Mm -hmm. You can see if this, this slide out was in, it would be a little easier, but you can still follow the transition at how it slightly gets lighter and lighter. And up here, you've got a very light blue with all of that same cool pattern in it. And then it goes all the way down to a much darker blue. This coach is a 360 camera, I'm assuming? 360 camera, correct. Nice. Wow, that is a good looking power plant there. Cummins 600 or 605? 605, 1,350 pounds of torque. Um, one of the things that's unique about a Newell is the amount of space you have to work on your engine. We hear from service centers that whenever they, you know, diesel service centers, whenever they have to work on these, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to have the space. Yeah. To get in there. Now, is this standard with all of that being polished like that? It's not. We have a, a stainless engine uh, package that we do, and that's, that's part of it. We've had some customers even take it to the extreme, uh, Mark Martin being one of them, uh, who's, who's talked about it on his own Facebook page. But, uh, yeah, he's got polished stainless steel oh, yeah. all over it. I'll, I'll try to grab a uh, picture from Mark's Instagram. But he's got, yeah, stainless, yeah, and just all, he likes doing that, that kind of stuff but just a beautiful engine compartment. I just noticed when you open this, it was almost just like an effortless touch. We do, we got some strong struts. It's all an electric latch, so it makes it easy. You're not pulling the weight of that whole door up. Nice to look at. And man, Porsche design just did an incredible job with this body style. Now, this body style is considered the P50 or what's? P50, yep. It, it's, uh, we launched it on our 50 year anniversary. Oh, very cool. Um, so uh, Porsche Design helped us do it and, and uh, it's, been, it's been really successful for us. With those lights up there like that? It is, it is. Those are our uh, exterior lights, uh, both that one. There's usually one in the middle of the coach. Yeah. Our side guard lights. Yes, another light and then another camera right here. And then I've talked about in previous videos, the camera on the door right there. All right, guys, I'm really impressed with the outside of this coach, but I really want to see the interior wow, here. Cool. This one is still getting detailed uh, for our customer next week. So we've got some things disengaged. So we're gonna have to jump up in here. Wow, look at this, almost like a carbon fiber uh, finish, just a beautiful, beautiful entrance here and look at all of this detail work within the tile and then the under lighting as well just so many small details in the pattern right here just an incredible entryway here this is the new 21 cockpit area newell coach recently had a video on their youtube channel where brian one of the salespeople here explained this entire cockpit area I'll leave a link in the description below to Newell's YouTube channel and to that video where Brian Pitts explains the entire brand new updates that they did. And it's definitely worth checking out Newell Coach's YouTube channel as well. And then you can see the videos that they make in house because they've got a lot of cool stuff to share around here. Is there any way to make it where it was a picture of that Newell or was that just when it started up? That's the startup screen. Okay. You can do it again if you want. I think it's worth it. It that's was such pretty, a cool shot. Cool, yeah. And I'll point out that's the huge rear view camera there. And that's a beautiful facility here that Newell has with these these huge doors and windows. What is that? A 16 inch screen? Or? Actually, I think it's 15 diameter. 15, yeah. okay. Check this out, guys. Yeah, that's probably the coolest uh, entry screen. This is a bath and a half custom coach 
our customers came and sat down. One of the unique features that we'll see in a minute is this has got a huge master bath. Um, was one of the floor plan options that our customers really attracted to. So beautiful, clean colors, some traditional colors in it, traditional color palettes. We've got uh, a waterfall edge on the galley, which is really unique. We've been doing that the last year. So really. waterfall edge, what, no, it's not an actual waterfall, it's just... No, it's just, this is what they call this treatment on the, on the um, rather than having a cabinet here. Oh yeah. The waterfall continues uh, seamlessly all over. Oh, the so it's the same countertop surface that continues yeah. out. Yeah, very, very cool look. One of the things we pulled, we really pull off of uh, high-end homes and yachts and things like that. And that's a, you know, one of the design elements that we pulled in. This customer does some work while on the road. Just small little things like hidden tables. Uh, are something that uh, the customer requested and we built in. This will have a sleeper sofa that'll fold out for guests. Um, all of our dinettes are, ex are extendable. Uh, we've got two extra seats, so... Oh, that's very cool. So how does this work? Some motors that push it out. We've got extra seats and bolsters that fit in. Oh, nice. Um, and then this is, uh, we have a leaf that fits in the, on the dinette. So you can add some extra seating uh, when you need it. And honestly, even without putting that stuff in, I would almost, I kind of like how it was positioned because it'd be a little bit easier just to kind of sit down and get out and maybe even have a seat where you're, very cool design yeah. there. Yeah. I like this pattern on the ceiling. Just, you can tell all these finishes are just the, this is the real McCoy here, ladies and gentlemen. They are interior accent lights uh, become more and more popular, and uh, it's great to be able to take our ceiling design elements and and blow them up with some with some accent lighting. Great spot for the coffee maker here, mm -hmm. and I like that there's a second smaller TV here, and then you've got that really large TV in the front of the coach just to give you a couple different options there. Now, is there usually some sort of a, uh, this, this looks like it's a little empty. Yeah, this is an art recess. Uh, we'll have a, a custom piece of art that's built uh, for the customer. It's actually designed by one of our other customers who's an artist. And so we utilize her skills and she'll do a, a custom piece of art that we'll mount prior to delivery. Very cool. Yeah. This is our, our house management system, which we call uh, the Intrepid system. This is a wired monitor. You can operate the coach from uh, one of two iPads that are in the coach. There's also a downloadable app um, that you can put on your phone. So it really allows you to have all the functionality and control from wherever you are, as long as the coach has internet connectivity and your phone has an internet connectivity. Just kind of going through the different screens. Uh, this is where you control all of the auto water fill, all of the lighting systems. On our RGB lighting, you can select the different colors that you want to display oh that's cool so you can change the colors of the lighting you can change the color you can even change the timing so this rainbow colored one right here when you hold it you can set which colors you want to participate so let's say um, OU is playing and I just want red and white to alternate I can set it at five seconds so every five seconds, it's going to be alternating between red and white. No way. Now, where, which colors are going to do that? Right now, it's under under the coach. Oh, it's the under yeah, the coach lighting. The nice. Coach. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That is really impressive. Yeah. Shades. Uh, we've got both uh, blackout shades and sunscreens. This is where you get in uh, to run all utilities. You can run your slides from, from this screen, awnings, utilities. This is where you connect your coach to the internet. It really gets into a lot of a lot of detail. The climate control, audio visual, you can run it from here. The coach also comes uh, standard with uh, Crestron uh, remotes. Nice. So it's Crestron audio visual system. Very cool. And then you can also look at all your cameras throughout the coach. Oh, nice. How many cameras are there on the outside? Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six different cameras. And then uh, it's wired into a DVR. So depending upon how long you can add memory to it, but you can record up to two weeks of memory on all the different cameras. Those six cameras will create a 360 camera up there? They do, yes. Yeah. As you're driving or as you're parked. Nice. Yeah. Again, uh, bath and a half coach. So that, that's, that's the half bath. Wow, I really like the different colors in this half bath, just to give it a different vibe with the light yellows and the light colors just really give it a nice uh, light feel. Surfaces that they use with the different tile patterns. Wow, just an incredible design. Yeah, the large format tiles we've used in this coach 
really, uh, they cut down on the grout lines and it really makes it a smooth, nice floor plan. I have to point out this, this kind of halo of light below the bed here. They just do an incredible job with the lighting and all the different areas. There's kind of some ambient lighting there. It's, it's, it's hidden, so you don't see the direct light, but you kind of see the glow. Same thing with that ceiling, just gives it a really high-end feel. Huge window too. I, I don't know if you guys can see for perspective like how big this window is, but that's Yeah, huge. another really cool feature of this coach is um, Because the customer wanted to maintain that window, but they also really like to enjoy their uh, Their audio-visual entertainment at night. So this coach has got a projector screen. I was gonna say I didn't yeah. see a televator there I was a little bit curious. Yeah so it's got a projector in the overhead. Whoa, here. that's that's it, no joke. And it's a serious commercial uh, quality uh, projector. So uh, we'll drop down a screen that's basically a blackout screen and it double functions as, uh, as the movie screen. All right, I know everybody's been waiting to see. This is what, this is unbelievable how big this rear bath is. Yeah. This is a, a new floor plan that we've launched in the last couple of years, and uh, boy, it's really it's really been um, a win for us. Okay, guys, I had to show you just like for you can even hear an echo. I don't think I've ever heard an echo ever in an RV bathroom. This is definitely a first. But I'm walking around like just like it's the rest of the coach. But um, there is a small step right here to get to the head, and just. The design that they use this is the highest quality patterns and tiles you can just tell this is this is really cutting edge with their design work really large countertop and i, I think newell definitely is the winner for the best sinks this is another really cool pattern i don't know where they get all their sinks from and why their sinks are so cool but i did another 21 uh, newell walkthrough that had a really cool sink as well and I gotta show you guys. I mean, this is, and I have so much headroom. It literally feels like I'm in like a Ritz Carlton bathroom at a hotel. Like it doesn't, does not feel like I'm in a motorhome for a second. Beautiful tile work, just. We've changed the drains. You can see that's actually the drain right there. Oh yeah. So uh, we've eliminated a lot of the traditional, uh, you know, silver yeah. drains. The ugly see. drains. The same floor in the bathroom is the same floor on the shower. I really like that design. Huge rainforest shower head, and, and then you've got just all kinds of shower heads. Uh, what's your uh, freshwater holding tank capacity? It's 145 gallons. There's a vent with a fan above the shower, and it's got that really nice decor piece. And then you also have this really large skylight, and then you can open and close that as well. Oh, it's got a couple different, so you can vent it. Sorry, I'm a. I don't know how to operate this. I'm just touching buttons. I apologize. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Yeah, or you can just put a little bit of the screen so it's not as much sunlight. Dress as well. Huge uh, closet space in the back. It's outfitted with two front load washer dryer uh, because that's what the customer selected. Yeah, I really like those doors, how you were able to tuck them back. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a huge cedar closet. It's got those same uh, drawer, uh, uh, doors like the washer dryer. It does, because when you're back here, you know, when the doors are open, you can, you're can you always bumping into them. So the ability to fold these in uh, makes the livability much better. I think that's the freshest cedar I've ever smelled. I'm like seven or eight feet away, and it's just like an overwhelming <laughs> smell of cedar, but that's very good. Just cut it. Just out of the forest here. <laughs> Hey, Grant, I can't thank you and the folks here at Newell Coach enough for showing me and the folks on YouTube this absolutely stunning 21 Newell Coach. If someone is a serious buyer, who should they contact? Uh, they can call in, contact, or go to newellcoach.com and ask for any salesperson, and they'd love to, uh, to tell you about the product. Greatly appreciate that, and make sure to go check out Newell Coach's YouTube channel as well. I'll make sure to leave that link in the description below, and then a link to that video where they explain that entire cockpit area. So... Greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody.